The purpose of this video is to show how cloaked forwarding settings and communication settings can give you complete control over your communications and allow you to delete spam forever. For the purposes of this video, I will be demonstrating how to manage these settings in the mobile app, but the way that they function is identical on both mobile and the desktop dashboard. When you create an identity with points of contact, mainly a phone number and an email address, you will be prompted to make decisions about two important questions. After you name the contact, you are asked these questions. The first is, who can reach you? And the second is, what happens to communications that are sent to this identity? You can adjust these settings while creating this identity, or you can manage them at the identity level by navigating to the identity specifically, clicking on the settings tab, and scrolling down. Here, you will see the two types of settings as previously mentioned. First are the communication settings. The communication settings allow you to control who can send communications to this identity by default. You can set calls, texts, or emails to each either have unrestricted access or to default block new contacts trying to reach you. This means that if someone tries to text you and you have a setting set to request approval, the text will not automatically be delivered unless you specifically approve this new contact to be allowed to reach you. Conversely, if you have the settings set to unrestricted, anyone who texts you will be able to reach you. Keep in mind that with either setting, any contacts that you already have for this identity will always be able to reach you. Forwarding settings can also be controlled for calls, emails, and texts individually. This allows you to control if you want communications to this identity through these channels to be stored only in the cloaked app or be forwarded directly to a personal email or personal phone number. When you set an email to be forwarded, it means that it will be forwarded to the email inbox of your choice. And if you set it not to be, it will be delivered only in the cloaked app. One important thing to note is that phone calls via cloaked require a forwarding phone number. So it is essential to enable forwarding for calls for any identity you plan to make or take phone calls from. Some examples of the ways that these settings can be used is that if you are trying to set up an identity for verification texts for a website, you would potentially want to set texts to allow unrestricted access and set other details to request approval and not turn on forward. Conversely, if you are setting up an identity for some sort of delivery app, you would likely want to set calls to allow unrestricted and turn on forwarding for those phone calls so that if any delivery driver is trying to reach you, they'll be able to call you and reach you directly while still maintaining your privacy. Again, all of these details can be controlled similarly in the desktop dashboard at the identity level. Along those lines, these settings can also be controlled at the overall level, but please keep in mind that the overall settings for these settings function as defaults for new identities and do not impact any existing identities. To recap, this video has shown how cloaked forwarding settings and communication settings can give you complete control over your communications and allow you to potentially eliminate spam forever. If this didn't really make sense to you and was very confusing, we definitely recommend checking out some of our other videos, specifically our Getting Started videos, to help better acquaint yourself with what Cloaked can do for you. Don't hesitate to reach out with questions, and remember to keep it cloaked.